Now from Coors Field in Denver, MLB Network is live and on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Colorado Rockies. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. You know, here lately, Chuck Nasty's been getting it done. Kyle Freeland gets the start for Colorado in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Former first-round pick from the Denver area. This guy has really good stuff. I think he's more of a bulldog. Good fastball, 92 to 94 miles an hour. Good hard slider. That's his main go-to pitch. But you talk to anybody around this guy that knows him, he's the ultimate competitor, one of the top young left-handed pitchers the in the game right now. In now is Lorenzo Cain. He will lead Lorenzo this one off today. King. And now a pitch on the way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. First pitch, one o'clock. The next 0 2 is a changeup that drops below the knees for a ball. Can't complain a bit about the weather here. 75 degrees our temperature at first pitch. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Oh, and the changeup is taken for a called third strike, and the leadoff man is gone to begin the ball game. And a look now at the batting order for the visiting Milwaukee that Brewers. That. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? You know, I think everyone should keep an eye on Christian Yelich. He won the National League batting title last year. Swinging the bat, he hits about everything. Breaking balls, change-up, fastballs. There wasn't anything that they could get by him last year. I love watching him perform, and I'm hoping that he continues that same trend this year. At the plate, Christian Yelich in his career versus this pitcher. He's hitless in three at bats. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Even though he let that one go, you know that's the kind of pitch he likes to take a big hack at. Not too many power hitters that don't like a stomach high fastball, so he's probably not throwing that one again. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. And there are the umpires working this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Patrick Johnson. Yeah, Dan, we got Patrick Johnson behind the dish tonight. Fairly standard strike zone most of the time, but he's definitely a pitcher's umpire. I, I always felt like this. He he's He will give a little bit on the corners, both inside and outside. I think he's a fair umpire, <laughs> but I would rate him more as a pitcher's umpire than a hitter's umpire. So he that punches him out looking at the fastball. Christian Yelich is Brian. the second out of the opening frame. Here's Brian Braun now. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Here comes the first pitch. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. We're just underway here in Denver. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Working on striking out the side in the first. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. The next 0 2 is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. The Rockies coming up. We've got no score.
Chase Anderson, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Here's Charlie Blackman now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Way to go. For the Rockies, the right fielder, Charlie. Infield shifted Blackman. well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. Yeah, Chuck Nasty, I'm, I'm talking about drill that shit. <laughs> so it's a solo home run to lead off the bottom of the first. And the Rockies are out to a one nothing lead. <laughs> Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run or two early in the game, and he does just that, blasting a no-doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. And that brings in the power-hitting shortstop Trevor Story. His lifetime batting line against Chase Anderson. He's 0 for 5. First offering on its way. Hot shot down the line. But this is foul for the first strike. No outs, nobody on. And here's a ball out towards straightaway center field. Kane is there, and he has it for the first out. With that, that here's third. a look at the Rockies the lineup card for this one. Who's David. the one to watch, Dan? Well, I'm no. looking for a big performance from Nolan Arenado. He finished last season with the most home runs in the major leagues. He won the major league home run title. He can put a ball into orbit when he catches it, and I hope he catches one in this game. Stepping in, David Dahl. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. First delivery to him on the way. No balls in one strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Batting four. The third baseman. No way. Arenado. Here's Nolan Arenado looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. He fouls it straight back, and whoa, that almost landed in our boot. Here's the 01. Drill down the line. But uh, this will get foul for strike two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Bullet back up the middle. Kane will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. <coughs> Rockies are on the board first thanks to this solo home run. Second inning coming up. It's now 1-0 Colorado. Digging in, number 18. He readies for his first plate appearance. The second baseman. Number 18. First pitch of the at-bat. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Wind up and the 0 1. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. The 
wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And another foul ball. Here comes another 0 2. Sky down the left field line. Dahl's in pursuit. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. That's All right, good. guys. So here's how the it's Colorado Rockies set up defensively. And let's take a look at outfielder David Dahl. Another guy who profiles not only in center field but can cover both corners. Speed is his game, and he's only going to continue to get better. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And standing in the left handed hitting third baseman Mike Mustakas. Open stance by Mustakas and now the pitch. And a check swing here but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. The pitch. Snatched out of midair at first base for round number two. Batting fifth, the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. <coughs> Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Tapia is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Gone in order of the Brewers. They trail this one one to nothing. Here's Daniel Murphy now. His lifetime batting line against Chase Anderson. He's one for five. Daniel Murphy. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. The 0 1 on its way. Mine to the right side. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big that leagues. Middle cut. His the eyes lit up right there. This pitcher's right. lucky he's not getting another ball Mid from the umpire. Back. Now batting, Ryan McMahon, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Pitch on its way. Little chopper back to the mound. To second for one, but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Definitely a risky and aggressive play for the pitcher there, but he made it work out. They practice plays like that a lot in spring training, so it paid off this time. So striding in, Rymel Tapia. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Pop straight up. Braun coming on. He can't get to it. This one's down. Boy, it's so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half Batting of the plate it. right there. The Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he okay. fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip oh, your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. That'll bring up Tony Walters. And there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. McMahon over at second. Tapia is over at first with one away. Rip down the line. And he tries for the backhand, reaches third, but it gets by the glove down the line. And the run will score from second to make this a 2 0 ball game. 
And no time will be called here as the pitching Kyle. coach heads out to the mound and Free hopefully way. try and settle this guy down a bit. So one out here with runners at first and third. And you give up a hit to the pitcher and you're going to have a you're going to have a short game. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Fouled away. Runners are at first and third, one away. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Again, another foul ball. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And they'll extend their lead even further. Damn, I thought he was going to get a home run out of that one. <laughs> Three nothing game. The right field. Great work to do a job right there. He's not a big power bat, so he was looking to get a fly ball to the outfield and give his guy a third a chance. He damn near got a home run out of it. Now with the play, Charlie Blackman. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Dan, he's got to find a way to get himself out of this. This is constant traffic, and here he finds oh, himself in a second up. with two outs, and not he's still good. giving up knocks. So it's about trying to limit the pitch count. Also, oh, in the second inning here, and his pitch count's getting up, up, up. He's had a lot of traffic on the bases, so he really needs to get out of this one right here. Into the box now, Trevor Story. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate, and it's not in time, he's safe. As they also score a pair of runs on the play. Now that they say when it rains, it pours, <laughs> and it's pouring out there right oh. now. Drives in two more with that shot, making it four runs in the inning. This inning is starting to get away from him. Now the Brewers' manager's up out of the dugout on his way to the mound, and it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So he'll yeah. an early send him down in the second that inning. That's what I'm really talking about. The flow of the ball game. Adrian Hauser enters from the pen in just the second inning, so they'll hope to get some length out of him and have him stay out there for a while. Adrian Hauser. That'll bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Tron is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. So it's four runs on five hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll go now to the top of the third. Colorado's out in front, five to nothing. Stepping into the box, Eric Thames. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. First pitch coming, here it is. And yeah. Saved that and missed for strike one. Chase that all day long, pal. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. Batting eight, the shortstop. 
into the box. Orlando Garcia in his career against this pitcher. He's 0 for 4. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. One out, nobody on. And two strikes now. <laughs> Love those guys behind the pin, behind the play, man. The one two. Fouled off. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. Changed up on him as this is grounded a second. McMahon gathers it in, and that's the second out. Batting nuts, the pitcher, number 37, Adrian Hauser. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Adrian Hauser. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Here's the first pitch to him. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. I mean, the obvious key right now is the movement on his two-seamer. He's able to spot it up in when he has to, and he's able to go back to work. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. Hit back up the middle. Scorey picks it up. And he'll make that play look easy as the throw is in time to end the inning. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings, specifically about his club's offensive output to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said forcing the opposing starter out of the game before the third inning and posting a bunch of runs right out of the gate was huge for them from a confidence standpoint and for their outlook moving forward in this game. The key now is keeping their foot on the gas pedal, Matt. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Leading off for the Rocky. Digging in to try it again. Nolan no Arenado. 0 for 1 oh, for him here in this one. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Hit hard to the right. Foul. The wind up and the 0 1. Line toward the alley in left center. Kane is in retreat as he pulls it in for the first out. The first baseman, number nine, Daniel Murphy. Stepping up now, Daniel Murphy. He reached on a single in his first try. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Popped up. Thames is there for it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting. The second baseman, Ryan McMahon. So bases are empty here with two gone. And Ryan McMahon digs into bat next. Now here it comes. That's lifted the other way out to left. Braun has a read on it, and the inning is over. 
Down goes That's what I say. Come on, man. Pitches, as they're unable to add to their 5 nothing lead. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Lorenzo Kane back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. But no doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. First pitch of the at-bat. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. I mean, this is the classic case of ambush tactics at its finest, but this is getting a little ridiculous. I'd like to see some of these guys in the lineup work to count a little bit and find themselves on base and maybe drive this guy's pitch count. All right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Now batting, the right fielder. Sorry, Kane, you weren't able. <laughs> oh, man, I slay me. Base is empty here with one away. And up next, the sweet swing and left handed hitting outfielder, Christian Yelich. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him, nothing in one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. I mean, these guys look more like lumberjacks than professional hitters right now. They're hacking at everything. Got him Three. looking with the fastball as that had some two-seam movement to it. Two gone. <laughs> the left fielder, number eight. Ryan. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in the left fielder, Ryan Braun. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Grounded foul off to the right. Bases are empty here with two men out. Behind 0 and 2 now. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Gone in order of the Brewers. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Coming to the plate now, Rymel Tapia. He singled his last time up. The center fielder, Rymel. First pitch coming, here it is. Pulled toward right center field. Kane is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. The catcher number 14, Cody Walter. So one away here with the bases empty. And that brings up the catcher, Tony Walters. First delivery to him on the way. 0-1 the count. Five runs, six hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. Now a shot out toward the alley in right center. Around first, digging for two. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Let's take another look at the just the textbook swing 21. right there. Good weight Kyle. transfer, good hands Freeland. to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. Into the box, Kyle Freeland. And it's belted high and deep into right center. 
Kane going back. Ah! Oh! Goes the dynamite. Yes! <laughs> a home run for the pitcher. <laughs> so it's a two-run shot to right center as this lead swells to seven to nothing. He might have thought he was going to fool him with a first pitch bender, but he was wrong. He was sitting on that curve and absolutely hammered it way out of here. <laughs> and now, now Charlie back. Blackman. Right fielder, Charlie. As he hits one on a line to left field. And the right. That's a double. Right on rolling as this ought to be extra bases again. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. And Chuck Ness, he's lighting him up today. Watch that first pitch go by. No matter what. Work the count, make the pitcher waste a few pitches. But when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch, it's hard not to go after it. And that's just what he does. He jumped all over it. Ready for another shot now, Trevor Story. And he's looking to add on to his two RBI game from earlier. Here's the first pitch to him. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. The See how the guys in the bullpen got cranked. <laughs> well, I think this pitcher's going to be heading for the shower. Trevor Story with a two-run shot as they push this lead up to nine now. Well, that was this lineup's third homer of the game. D row some days the fellows walk in with their hitting shoes on and this looks like one of those games yeah but there's a saying going around the dugout right now there's a fight at the bat rack now everybody batting. wants Let's a chance to get into that batter standing in now oh. David Dahl yeah. is gonna get there as he backs up to put it away and there are two gone oh, now well this one was squared up pretty good but just like no pitchers way. give up hits on well All executed right. pitches oh. batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better There's a swing and a Whoa. drive headed for the right field corner. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. That was a third deck foul ball, but man, that son of a bitch went. The wind up and the 0 1. Takes this the other way to right. Yelich is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. Another good inning for the Rockies, and Blake Street might be beckoning for one or two of this bunch. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Well, Matt, during the break, I caught up with Craig Council, the Brewers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at-bats. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning around for them. The second base. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. First pitch on its way. Hey. Now a strike called in the upper part of the zone. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. Welcome to my world right here, batter. I've seen this 0-2 count way too many times. Hittable pitch in the middle of the zone. You take one. 
slider in the dirt. You come unglued. Now you got to step out of the box. You have no idea what's going to happen. At third, Arenado. Here it comes, 0 and 2. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really the impressive batter. to me, he hasn't walked season. anyone either. He's just right. pounding the zone. His he stuff starts. is dirty today. The third baseman, Mike Mustakis, now. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. He's really on a roll right now. Back, the mound. back to back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning, and now he started this frame with the same story four straight strikeouts in all. First offering on its way. Hit hard towards center. That's a hit, the first of the game for Milwaukee. Hey, D. Rowe, it's about time they finally break through. We're into the, the fifth base, inning, and that's seven. just their first hit of this game. Yeah, Danny, it's been a pitcher's delight out there. But I'm an offensive guy. I want to see some balls moved into the gap. First knock. Hopefully, this is the start of many. Into the box, Eric Thames. And this is knocked down on the mound. And he'll reach first safely. The batter, the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Way behind that pitch. It's 0 and 1. Hey, he's rolling so far in this one as we head in the middle part of this game. How about 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes? If he continues to do that, he just might finish this one. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. Boy, this is a big inning, Drew, and how about back-to-back-to-back -back 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 singles? The bags are loaded, and he is in deep trouble. Yes, he is, no doubt about it. Nothing fires you up more than knocking the donut wait. off your bat on the on-deck circle the and realizing all the pillows are taken right Never now. Not. Major traffic. you got to stay within yourself, not try and do too much, and get a pitch in your zone. Taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Now another 0 2. And he fouls this one off. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Brewers leave them loaded. They're down nine to nothing. Jordan Lyles gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Digging in, Daniel Murphy, lifetime versus Jordan Lyles. He's two for three. Daniel Murphy.
first pitch of the at bat. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Talk about the starting off the inning with the bang. Goodness, base. man. When this thing left Royal. the bat, I thought it was out of here. And I think he might have, too. Only made it to the warning track, but he glides into second base with a leadoff double. Damn fans. Here's Ryan McMahon now. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here comes the first pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And it's a productive first out as that runner is able to advance 90 feet up to third here. Up next for Colorado, the center fielder, Rival Tapia. Stepping up to the plate, Rymel Tapia. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. From the stretch. Swung on and grounded foul. Chopped toward the second baseman. Reined in. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Good manufactured run right 14. there. Lead off double. Cody. Move him over with the ground ball Walker. and just put the ball in play and let him come home. Make scoring runs look easier than it actually is. Digging in now, Tony Walters. Lifetime versus Jordan Lyles. He's hitless in three at bats. Lyles gets the sign. Here comes the first pitch. This is line to left. Braun will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So one run here on one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. We're through five here at the ballpark. Rockies lead this one 10 to nothing. Now back to the top of the Milwaukee order, digging in Lorenzo Cain. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game if this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. The windup and the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he struck him out. So double digits now. 10 strikeouts for him thus far. That's 10 strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. In is Christian Yelich. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First offering on its way. Here's a first pitch changeup that swung on and chopped foul right at home plate. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone. And when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he stepped in a big old bucket of sassy. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. He's really racked up the strikeouts in this one. And this guy's been it. victimized three so times already today. Ryan. He and this lineup are clearly having a really tough time picking him up.
In now, Ryan Braun. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball, 1 0. Oh. No hits to this point. The 1-0. It is taken strike one. That's a real good job of going back-to-back -back fastballs right there. Most of the time, a hitter will see a fastball in the inside half of the plate, and they'll just think, well, this pitcher's going to go back on the outside. But when you double up like he did right there, it sends a message to the hitter that you're not afraid to throw in that inner half of the plate. Hit the other way out toward right field. After it is Blackman. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And he is in the second with a two out double. That was a great job of driving that ball, Number extending 18. his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Standing in now, number 18, as he'll come up empty there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Hey, two tough pitches right there, and expect more of the same. With that guy standing out on second base, you don't want any RBI scoring right here. With that base open at first, he's going to grind out and try and get this guy. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Danger averted following the two-out double. More baseball on MLB Network right after this.